Hi, in this short video, I'm going to show you how you can set up multi Comsol Multiphysics to use the PolyUMOD library. I will also show you how this works by running a very quick little simulation. The first step is to copy a JAR file. So I'm going to go on this computer to the C drive program files. I'm going to switch over to Polymer FEM, PolyUMOD. So you see that you need to first, of course, install the PolyUMOD library on your computer using the Polymer FEM installer. Once that's done, you can have these files and you go to PolyUMOD Comsol. And uh, the version of Comsol I will use here is 5.6. So I'm copying in this jar file, Control C, and then I'm going to go up to Program Files. I'm going to switch over to Comsol 5.6 Multiphysics uh, Plugins. I'm going to paste this plugin right here. So I'm going to overwrite it or use my privileges to save it right here. The next thing I'll do is to copy a test case that comes with the PolyUMOD library. So I'm going to, to Program Files. I'm going to switch back to Polymer FEM and go to PolyUMOD, Test Cases Console. I'm going to copy this file. It's a demo file that's already prepared. I go to the C drive, go to Temp. I'm going to paste it right here. Then I'm going to just double click on this file and then let console start. Okay, once the uh, file has uh, read in, uh, we have a few more settings to make here in console multiphysics. So I'm just going to go through some of the key uh, settings here and then we'll run this uh, very quickly. So I'm going to go to materials under global definitions. We have already defined a material model here but the paths are a little bit uh, odd so we're going to fix that so um, under settings here the library um, for polyumod has the wrong direction directory so i'm going to click on browse i'm going to go to uh, this location polymer fm polyumod polyumod console polyumod dll i'm going to say okay so that's the proper location that's a one-time setup here i'll make sure that the Interface type is Lagrangian interface to PolyUMOD. The rest of the settings here are fine. I'm going to click down on this node here and we'll look at the parameters. Uh, the parameters are given is as a long uh, string of numbers. These are numbers you can calibrate and export from M calibration, our material model calibration software. Um, this is a three network model from the PolyUMOD library. And I know that because the first material ID flag is 11. And you can read about that in the PolyUMOD manual. Um, and that is really all there is to do here. We can look at our model a little bit. It's a very simple uh, block that we're gonna pull on and unload and reload. We're gonna do cyclic loading on it and uh, we have defined the block to have this material definition that we just looked at. And we are actually ready now to just run this. So I'm going to go and click on Compute. All right, so the simulation has now finished. And we can look at some results just to make sure that it looks OK. I have a predefined. A plot here that we can generate and look at what the stress strain response looks like under cyclic loading with this particular material model and that's really uh, all that I want to focus on in this demonstration is how we set it up and how we run it and um, the results as we can see here is, is highly nonlinear it's a very similar to what we would expect experimentally for a, a polyurethane type material for example where you have the, a lot of hysteresis and nonlinear viscoplastic behaviors, which you can now capture very accurately using Comsol Multiphysics with the PolyUMOD library. Uh, but that's all I want to show in this video. Um, if you have any questions, let us know in, in below.